Hey guys, welcome to episode number 77. Today is Wednesday, so it's DIY Wednesday, and sorry this one's posted a little late. This is the third attempt at trying to capture um, this video, but now that I've got my technical difficulties worked out, I wanted to talk about a request that I got from a fan, uh, Mr. Carr Miller is uh, his YouTube name. He asked, he, he viewed my, my video on how to make a, a 20 gallon aquarium stand for $20. And uh, this, is, this is the stand that I built here. Um, and he was asking about um, if, if I could draw up plans for a 20 gallon stand um, which holds uh, two or more um, aquariums and uh, it's something I actually have been thinking about recently um, you know taking this principle of, of making a cheap aquarium stand and uh, kind of expanding on it uh, the next logical step is well how do you make uh, a rack construction um, out of wood uh, fairly sturdy fairly cheap and, and what would that look like and uh, what I wanted to do here was um, kind of upgrade um, this design into something that uh, takes the the load bearing off of the uh, the screws which is what was previously done here and uh, that's really important for a tank that's over 20 gallons when, when you're just talking about one 20 gallon aquarium uh, this is this is fine you know putting the weight on those screws is, is fine but when you start talking about more weight than just 20 gallons uh, it starts to become an issue so here's my solution that I've come up with and I think this is a a pretty good design which could apply to um, any size tank rack and uh, it was built um, it was built with a, a, a modular uh, ability um, in mind um, what I mean by that is um, this design can transfer into something that is uh, two aquariums tall or possibly even three aquariums tall would also work and uh, it's something that can be expanded on to the left or the right so that you have multiple aquariums in a row on each shelf on each uh, level so let's kind of dive into um, the design here and, and how it differs from my original uh, 20 gallon aquarium stand and you know what makes it better and uh, and what makes it different so the first thing you're going to notice is um, each aquarium kind of fits within its own shelf area and uh, how that works is uh, you've still got this this front piece and you've got this back piece um, that the aquarium sits on uh, and, and then you have you know the, the left and the right sides which the aquarium sits on as well however the legs instead of being internal here you'll notice that the legs are kind of internal um, they're on the inside uh, instead the legs are now on the outside and what that allows you to do is slide the aquarium straight in and they have their own little cubby hole in which um, they they sit and you know, you'll notice the aquarium is supported on all four sides and this is something where you'd want to put down a thin piece of styrofoam um, so that the aquarium kind of levels itself out and uh, when you design this you want to design it with a little bit of space in mind on each side here uh, you probably want at least a half inch uh, on each side so that it, it adjusts it for any you know expanding or contracting of wood uh, any shifts over time uh, to make sure that you're not putting uh, a huge amount of stress uh, on the glass aquarium uh, to prevent some some cracking uh, and also to give you the ability to slide in additional sheets of styrofoam if you want to further insulate the sides and the back of your aquarium uh, so the legs are now on the outside here um, the bottom is 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 pretty much the same um, except the, uh, the the runners here uh, that go lengthwise um, are, are a little bit longer to accommodate these legs that are now sitting on the outside. Now you'll notice that uh, the the load is being bear bared by uh, the the two by fours directly. So all of the weight from the tank on top is being held by the two by four legs. 
um, whereas uh, before it was the screws that were holding that weight. This allows us to uh, put a tank here. It allows us to build a third shelf and put another tank on top. Uh, as long as we keep we keep putting those legs so that that the weight gets transferred um, straight down through through that two by four. Uh, two by fours are extremely strong and they'll be able to, to take that weight. Now, this wouldn't be a very structurally sound uh, uh, construction if it wasn't for the addition of this back plate. And uh, this is kind of what ties the whole thing together. If you think of um, the, the surface that the aquarium sits on as, as a level or a platform, um, and then if you think of the, the uprights, the, the legs, as, as your, your supports um, for that weight, uh, you, can, you can think of this back piece as kind of the, the backbone to the entire thing. It's what's going to hold the whole thing together and lock it, lock it together so that it doesn't move, it can't shift, and uh, most importantly so that you can attach the, um, the, uh, the shelf here to the wall. Um, one thing that I did find with this 20 gallon aquarium stand is um, it's it's extremely top heavy with just 20 gallons of water sitting 30 inches off the ground. And so one thing that I did uh, to make up for that here is by saying um, this entire back plate would be tied to the wall itself. And that means that just like a bookshelf, uh, it won't be able to tip over. And that's really, really important when we start talking about safety. So let's just take a look at this back plate real quick. Um, it's, it's basically a two by four construction, again, uh, kind of like a barn door construction almost, um, with your, 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 uh, your, your cross beams kind of going, um, going across here to kind of lock, lock the entire thing together. And, and so that back piece just basically screws into and against the back of the legs uh, and, and the back of those, those, uh, those uh, uh, platforms, uh, locking the whole thing together. So essentially, um, those are the three components to this aquarium stand. It's uh, this back plate. Um, it's the, the levels themselves which hold the aquariums, and it's the legs which, which support them. And when I mentioned that this could be a modular design, uh, what I meant by that is that if we zoom in here, um, these platforms don't need to be the width of one aquarium. This could be, uh, you know, eight feet long. Uh, the, these, these platforms could be eight feet long. And uh, what you would do is you would insert multiple legs. Uh, you, you'd insert the legs between each uh, aquarium, depending on your aquarium size. Uh, but, but those platforms could be much longer than, than just one aquarium individually. And uh, what that would allow you to do is uh, if, if, if one of these platforms ended... Uh, which is to say, if you had 10 feet uh, of space on a wall and, uh, and you had two platforms which were each 5 feet um, long, um, you can have that, those, those platforms end um, halfway between uh, one of these legs, uh, which means uh, the platform to the left and the platform to the right are be both being supported by this leg. So it's it's bearing the load of each of those platforms. And the important part to note is the more legs that you have, you know, the, the less weight is being uh, bared by each leg. And uh, so how, how you'd want that to work is you would want legs in between each aquarium, especially if you start going like 55 gallons or above, you definitely want legs between each aquarium. So that's kind of what I've got here. Um, how this is drawn is basically one sump tank down below. Um, that's going to be, uh, you know, kind of difficult to clean if you plan on having a lot of fish in it, because it's going to accumulate, uh, you know, waste fairly rapidly. And uh, since it's so low to the ground, it's it's kind of hard to siphon out and clean. So I would I would 
typically recommend that being used as more of like a, a planted tank or a tank that has you know fry in it some something that has less of a bio load um, or just being used as, as a plain sump tank uh, because it is so low to the ground uh, and then the second tank here would be uh, more like your your display tank it would have your adult fish in it it would have your breeding group of fish in it and uh, then if, if you had a third tank uh, I didn't draw this out but if you can imagine how this bottom section looks um, you can just duplicate that one more time up here and then you can actually have a, th a third tank sit up top and that could be again it could be a planted tank uh, it, again it could be a fry tank it's it's probably going to be something that you're not going to want to access as often because you'll probably need a step stool to get to it uh, but it, it could hold um, you know your, your new uh, fresh water that could be dripping into your system uh, so I mean th there are a few options for for how you would use uh, multiple levels of tanks and that's kind of up to you know what you're doing and uh, and, and your personal preference with, with your project but um, definitely the the value in this design is the ability to go uh, multiple tanks per per level to make this into a true modular rack construction and um, that's that would be my recommendation uh, if 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 you went about doing this is uh, to make the most of it to to put more than one of these units together um, and, uh, and and make it into more of a, a, a true rack uh, construction and uh, the biggest thing to remember here guys is to definitely secure something like this to the wall if you don't secure it to the wall it will tip over and it will hurt someone uh, so please remember that if if you plan on on using something like this again i'm not a structural engineer i hold no claims to you know the the safety of this uh construction uh, but uh, I will make it available in the comments again if, if you want to download it and, and play around with it. Uh, definitely if you do decide to build it, uh, post a video response of it. I'd love to see it uh, and, and hopefully it works out for you guys. So, um, you know, that's that's kind of what I've come up with. Um, you know, I'd love to hear some feedback, uh, positive, negative, indifferent on uh, on this design. And, and if, if you guys think it could be improved at all, uh, I, I'd love to hear uh, I'd love to hear about it because eventually sometime in the future, I may be building something like this. And uh, this this would be a good starting place. And any feedback uh, I, I could get on it before I do start building would be much appreciated. And anyone who's watching this video would love the feedback as well uh, so that they make sure that they they build uh, in the right direction so that's all I've got for today um, I hope you guys enjoy it again check out the comments I'll post uh, the file the the SketchUp file for this uh, project uh, there and uh, just remember that all of the calculations here are approximate uh, you're definitely going to want to measure your aquarium and uh, your wood before you get started to make sure that you don't uh, miscut anything uh, to make sure that you know all of your cuts are the uh, the appropriate size for your project so hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a good weekend all right guys see you later